Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Kaiser's Legion. Kaiser's Legion. But the Battle of Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam, stretching across the mighty Colorado River, has become the battleground between two vast forces today. An order directly from Kaiser, the Malpais Legate himself is leading a massive force of Legionnaires and tribal auxiliaries in an attempt to seize the so called Old World Wall from the hands of the NCR, who have held it since 2274 uh, and the Treaty of New Vegas. The Legion, aided by superior numbers and fierce obedience to orders, seems to have the upper hand of the clash, but need to carry any momentum to gain uh, gain from breaking through at the dam to secure it from counterattack. If they should succeed, the Mojave and the Lights of Vegas will lay open for the Kaiser to grab. Should they fail, the Malpias Legion may not find himself in a difficult spot, and the NCR will retain its hold of the Mojave for a little while longer. Notice how Kaiser is marching his new Rome. We should do okay, it looks like we're doing pretty, pretty darn decently. They've only. Well, they, they do have all four divisions here, but. We do have all of the, at least four, three from Atari divisions, maybe even four, three divisions, and two cherry divisions, maybe. Yeah. We should do okay overall. So just keep on, keep on, keeping on, keeping on, eh? Well, would you look at that. A certain victory. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was a triumph. Um, Legion overrun the Mojave. Mopias Legget parades his troops to the borders of the NCR itself, and the prisoners march east of Flagstaff. With the fall of the Mojave territory, New Vegas lies on defend, the wasteland holds his breath. Kazars roams in sight. Victory at Hoover Dam and Boulder City. While a victory of the dam was anticipated, it was to come to the relief of the Legget that the victory has been achieved. NCR troops. Uh, they have fought bravely in a well-planned defense of the dam, but ultimately they are spear numbers and the inherently indefensible nature of the Hoover Dam. While these factors combine to bring us an initial victory here to the dam, the very same factors may we be our undoing. We'll face a multi-fronted counterattack while defending open and narrow terrain. Unless we can carry momentum forward and seize the Boulder City, we face swiftly losing the dam to a California counterattack. Force of the Mopias so like assures us it's a plan for the capture of Boulder City. Become owner and control of the Hoover Dam, must march to Boulder Dam. Holy crap! Victory at Boulder City! Boulder City, a small NCR-controlled frontier town sat just behind the Colorado River, was never meant to be a difficult piece uh, to conquer. Surrounded by two sides of open ground, and penned in on the other two by harsh ridge lines of Colorado itself, ways of the luggage troops should have brushed aside any resistance the NCR put up. Indeed, they did. Despite fierce fire, sniper fire from the NCR's rangers, waves of Legion troops forced the motley NCR defending force to rile within minutes of the Legion troops reaching the city. Even through their, though their leadership has been decimated by the ranger's sniper fire, the luggage forced his new one tactic charge, so they did. Whereas the soldiers poured in Boulder City, overwhelmed the Rangers' sniper nest, but the Rangers detonated the explosive charges they had laced throughout the Boulder City, but to little effect. The bulk of the lugged soldiers were charged in the ridge after all. A massacre was ne nearly avoided by the Malpais. Disciplined training of his forces. Triumphantly marched south, riding the NCR completely. The Mojave is ours! Holy crap! That's actually really impressive. I don't think I've ever done that one before. Um, the Malpais, like the hero of the Hoover Dams, began to attract a cult of his own. He does not deny claims that he's a prophet of the Canaanite god, and some whisper his plots to seize the legion from Kaiser himself. Perhaps our old friend has become too powerful? I don't enjoy killing, but it's just a chore, like any other, or at such times we can turn to Mars, but it's good to have friends as we take a sip of water as the game is lagging. When is the game not lagging, of course? Tossing his trusted comrade who brought the legion victory over the Grand Canyon while it burns will prove Kaiser himself. Surely the potential rival will never come back with an army of fanatic uh, tribals who know the way of the Canaanite? Ooh, we can turn to Mars, but it's good to have friends. Yes. There's a deadline. There's some glory. Some glory as well. The Manor Rifle Territories. Um, this actually put us in a very good position. And we can go to war with some of the, was it, the Eagle Rock as well? Yeah. This was very weirdly done. Yeah, these guys were separate from this group, which is weird. You guys are over here, and you can be led by uh, these guys. So, really... Five divisions might be honestly too much. Um... Field citations... Yeah, that's fine. You guys are going to be over there. You guys should be over here as well. There's really only a few ways to get in, in and out. 
And there's two here. So I will definitely need you guys like here. I'll pull them off. Potentially, we did really well. And PP restoration. That's perfectly done in time. Um, so that was actually really surprisingly good. I think of the bloody bull we went last time. This was a triumph. With victory at Hoover Dam. Sound for do what we must because we can, for the good of all of us except the ones who are dead. I'll huff and I'll puff. Ooh. The victors. The uneasy peace, saving what's left. So do we have resistance here? Oh crap, we do. I'll huff and I'll puff. The extent of victory has crushed any resistance we might face in the Mojave. After all, we can always build more crucifixes with M O R R. Yeah, get the heck out of here, you piece of garbage. Nice. The ultimio, ultimo question. The two sons attempted the soul. Emissaries came to the flag set, persuade the mighty Kaiser, and that the country's worthy holding Ultimo. But a man rules alone, even the son of Mars bases his judgment on the advisor's opinions. The final decision will be ruled out when the great warriors of the Legion will be making up their mind. Two sons, two sons. Lucky wants to burn them all. Oh. New Vegas is core territories. Uh, are they guaranteed by the NCR? They have an aggression pact with them. Ooh. Let us move on to Vegas, acquire capital for a legion worthy of us. Honestly, it's probably better to just put these guys over there. These guys will honestly probably be strong enough to do that, at least. Flyboy, Earth Scorcher. Now we'll enter work things, you uh, know. Resistance target would not be bad, though. Go to the spoils. Go to spoils, Legion of Kings. Eh. Cause additional template power to remove or switch to another idea. Off and up, off. Blow the house down. Have a boomer. We'll see what the NCR does. Because now they must lick their wounds. Hey! Hey, General Atomics, that's cool. Is it just because of the air? Oh, uh, yeah. That's guess we can help accelerate it to go down faster. It's very high. Ridiculously high. Should drop pretty quickly from doing that, though. Point 0.8. I'll huff and I'll puff. And blow the house down. Let's just move on to Vegas and acquire capital for Legion worthy of us. We don't want that one yet, because we don't want to go to war with them, or Kaiser will live. And you guys over there, you guys over there, you guys. Seven point three. Not bad to the victors. Or running NCR stockpiles giving us access to plentiful weapons. We can distribute those to the heroes of the Mojave for use in their next conquest. Go the spoils. Let's up a new function to exploit the riches of the Mojave. To the extent this air desert has riches, I mean, why does it have any desert anyway? The uneasy peace. We do not need to go to for the bear just yet. After all, New Vegas beckons. Perhaps we can persuade them of the benefits of a limited peace. A great exchange. We capture many new Californians in a victory at the dam. Some of them yet live and could be worth, uh, worth something to Shady Sands. Even a god may die. Kaiser's health has continued to worsen. Of late, he's been less active, and his vigorous face seems thinner and paler than normal. It's probably nothing, right? He'll be fine. As we're doing the fate of the Van Grass, as we, like I said, we do have some comments to go through. Uh, but let's take a look, see, shall we? So we did really well earlier. Um, just kind of blazing through everybody. But uh, no, uh, which one do we want to do next? Hmm, uh, warrior. Hmm, uh, great chamber. Did I read this one? The two sons kneeling. We may now explore their holy sites. I like that one. Um, and where are we at with this? Oh, we can go to New Vegas, but 
I think we're okay for now. So. Some comments include Veil, the best World War II Blues player, is finally back to Kaiser and his Legion. True to Kaiser. This repeats itself. Very good. Aaron Kimball, like the president of the NCR. Oh no. Whatever will we do? The bear is roving out the west. Or roving out across the west. Uh, slanter, very good, very good, very good. Very good. Someone said, uh, so, oh, another someone, someone said, I freaking love playing as Legion. Get them properly industrialized, and they're one of the most powerful nations in the world blues. Yep. I'll be true to Kaiser. Kaiser. Let Graham become Kaiser in this run. Turn off his historical AI, he'll, or he'll always lose Hoover Dam. Well, I think I actually left historical on, I thought. Maybe? So. Someone else says, now here we are, the Kaiser's Legion. I'm not a Legion fan. All the slavery and them being nothing but organized raiders and all that, but I'm still going to enjoy this very much, regardless. Oh, thank you. Someone says, did you put this on a historical? It, I believe it may affect your odds of winning the Battle of Hoover Dam. Well, I don't remember, like I said, so. We'll see. Planes are doing okay, not great. Ah, we can do great things here, though. Rocket launchers way too ahead of time. Anything else here? Doggos? Sure, why not? What are we doing here? Ah, switch force is good. Uh, is it here? -ish? Should be. Someone says, you should go for a route you've never been in the game before. I recommend Aurelius of Phoenix. You could. But I definitely have not gone the Mob Pies like it. I'm pretty sure. So. Someone says, Ave, Trudy Kaiser. Another person says, Ave. Another person says, Trudy Kaiser. We all love Kaiser here. The decision, huh? Legionnaires on a low. Uh, what is this one? Force. Uvat. Audentis. Ubi Proxima Mersis. Let's give it Ultimo de Hente del Sol. The Navy of the Bull. Where should repair the sir? Return the chariots. Two sides of some of the greatest numbers of cards in the waste. Presumably they'll be happy to provide them to the Legion. Let's hope so. Legion Legionary Charioteers. Legion turned to the roads, just as his forefathers did. Great Kaiser has decreed that the iron steeds will propel its riders, and two sons shall be the new Scythians. Cool. That's what I like to see. Get her done. My pass like wants to burn them all. Who doesn't want to burn them all? A pair, a pair of the western boat left at the Hoover Dam. While the Hoover Dam was for many years after its construction, an impassable barrier across the Colorado River. Shortly before the Great War, the Americans embarked on an ambitious engineering project to tackle this. Under the direction of the U.S. Corps of Engineers, civilian contractors constructed two boat lifts, glorified locks. One on either side of the dam, while theoretically designed to improve trade up and down the river, the locks never opened up to civilian traffic before the Great War began. They are, however, far from broken. A few months of work had restored them to functioning. Basic military stuff here. Organizational stuff we don't really care about. Uh, I don't care about that either. Lannis' deadline. Oh boy. Earned some glory. Little, little, some glory. Lieutenant Chariots, yes. Nice. Honestly, I'm going to get rid of this guy. He's not good enough. Show field commander, though. Oh, whoops. Actually, we need to actually promote him. There you go. Nice. Very good. They're really not winning against Diana, are they? That kind of sucks. Worshippers of Sir. Or Senior. Citizens of two sons worship several gods in the along with Kaz and Mars. One of them is Sirnir, the great founder of NASCAR. Blesses a priest who worked in temples and attends to tracks. Let's invite them to the Legion's territory so they can develop our lands. Because they actually took out cowboy country, so. But we do have a cup of green tea here to keep us nice and warm. And whatnot. So I'll try and get that done. Two Sons Col Coliseum. We can broadcast the races of Two Sons across the Legion territory and we can build a racetrack for their epic combat. And the competitions will be encouraged, only encourage Two Sons to serve the Legion. Two Sons Coliseum, we guess. The uh, Legend of the Cannonball, the Cannonball King of the Road, most famous driver. As one of the gods of Two Sons, he represents the love of racing, protection of the sport, and the production of better and better vehicles. His worship can spread across the Legion with our assistance. Narsh. 
Um, where else are we? The Court of Mars. Oh, this is a triumph. Oh, we did do the fate of the Van Graaffs as well. We've got some energy weapons before, but well, they were always uh, too rare to, to get the full bull benefits of. But now those stores of the Van Graaffs are right for the taking. I'll be a boomer. We really need to go to war with New Vegas, but... Ooh, this one. Use this one later. Great Kazaz. Dream will be fulfilled. It will bring the glory of the Legion to the masses in New California. In time, the survivors will thank us. Is every tool? I don't know about that. Cool. Got a lot of extra options here. Mmm. Cheer to the god. The gods. Accept a petition. I'd use firearms to support weapons like civilized wastelanders. Well, let's see who's alive. White legs. 80s. 80s are doing very well. I'm kind of going to go call upon the nomads. Instead of turning to the white legs, the Ulysses we have informed us are a little more than savage fools. We can turn to the fearsome 80s. Perhaps they'll be lured by some of the loot up from the greatest garages. Yes? No? Maybe so? Oops. That thing's going a bit too long. Bit ahead of time. We'll go with that one too. Nosh. Uh, people are doing well. Trade income? I'll take 40 cases. Why not? The 80s petition. Probably followed up with weapons of war, maybe, or uh, chariots of the gods. The god of Nas may find ready converts among the 80s, and their priests will go forth and teach uh, the great loop and the importance of the fuel economy. What's important to do? We might want to wait until the NCR actually tries to go to war with us, because we don't want to go to war with New Vegas. We don't want New Vegas because we want Kaiser to die. Or well, then again, we could have a civil war too, because I never know how long we're going to live. Uh, about all honesty. I want to do some veterans. I need way more fire teams. Got plenty of planes, that's nice. I need a lot of that. A lot of this too. Planes looking okay. The 80s refuse. Those fools, they refuse their petition to bring them into the Legion for assistance with destroying the new Canaanites and, and their leader Joshua. They'll pay for this. The arrogance of them. Terrible. Cheers to the gods. Well, it's supposed to be suited to that one. Weapons of war. Can't do that one now. Or you just pop at them too. We can do that too. I'll grant the Navajo exemptions. We're going to accept the Navajo from some of the tribute demands in exchange for greater loyalty. Hooray! Hop, Hopi, Hopi, housing expansions. The Hopi are a tribe that live within the Navajo land, with assistance against step into their own as well. Navajo riches. To further enrich our Navajo allies and possibly gain more from their teeth as well, we should work with them as allies. It seems like the longest time they've been trying to gain access to the Colorado River, blocked by degenerates and prolificates. We should clear them and give it as a friend to our gifts. And this is from Masao. The Hopi tell of the Masao, uh, the Lord of Death who taught them to farm into the dangers of the world, we can spread Hopi lessons and honor their god. Window Rock Restoration. The Navajo capitals once in town called the Window Rock, although it's fallen into disuse after, since the Great War. Or work with the Navajo to build a council chamber worthy of the people. We can even host our ambassador there. The Navajo's lands. Since the Great War, the Navajo have sought to make use of the Colorado River, but raiders have hindered their access. We can work to divert the river to the Navajo, who can use it for farming, or they can use it to further industrial development, exploiting the old coal mines to promote its industry. Crush the raiders and divert the river. Restart the coal mines. Um, a darn fine job. Sure, why not? But... We're going to continue on with Rebirth of Phoenix. <clears throat> As a result of many efforts, the town of Phoenix is reborn into a mighty commercial and industrial hub. Now, we can further our power in the region even more, make it the crown jewel of the Legion. Follow it up. What is this? The heart of the empire. We brought security to Arizona in a way that the Rangers never could. Let us use our prosperity to show that the Legion are not a heartless monster, but building a better world pr of purpose for the deserving. Just like us. Also, we are going this way as well. Um, that's fine, that's fine. We're still making more divisions, which is pretty nice overall. It does cost us a little bit of money, but honestly for us, who cares? Alright, more soft attack, more heart attack, more max entrenchment, plus 10%, that's nice. Uh, we don't have a lot of political power now, but... Kind of just waiting for the Civil War to fire eventually, or... We go to war with... Um, these guys over here, so... The NCR. Let's see, anything else? Oh, Twin Mothers Flee North. The Twin Mothers have... As a tribe, have seemed to make their uh, <clears throat> taught their last lesson. Lannis' forces fill in the valley and taking control of their sacred temples and fields. When the time to finally bring Diane herself up for question, the Legion was left empty-handed. Diana would have opened up her true home in paradise to waste centers and twin mothers refugees, so you can heal from the injuries they took and prepare for defense against further legionary attacks. Things are getting stranger in Colorado. Twin mothers have fled north to paradise after losing their war to Lannis. Well, that's good. Maybe we can now focus on... Um, the hangdogs of the cult of Lupa, but disperse a tribe. They've only 3,000 manpower, which is not bad. 
They have quite a bit, so I guess we'll have to wait and see, really. As we'll do a couple more focuses as well. <coughs> cool. Not more ships. Always oh, nice having ships. Even though our man power is decreasing, which I don't necessarily like. I don't think it's good for us, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Ah, <sighs> it is what it is. But the heart of the empire, the true capital. Who oh, is this one? Officio ab famulatus. Famulatus. Where there's a whip, there's a way. Hire Dale Barton. It, is it dangerous to trade with the Legion? Not at all. As long as you don't try to sell them cams or alcohol, they'll treat you fair. The scavenger's teeth. The haunting ruins of Phoenix of pre-war origin still hide away many secrets, but it's dangerous to go scavenging <clears throat> in the wreckages. It's much more profitable to simply put its perimeter on scavenging sites and teeth are subject in exchange for a passage. Nice. Recruit the Rossi family. Oh, the house of Rossi controls New Mexico's compromise. We can woo them to join our service in the true capital. As the power and prosperity of Luke Phoenix becomes the subject of admiration amongst the ranks of the Legion of Vassals, many wonders. Will Kaiser make the mighty city's new capital to, put, to further put a site on the south? He might. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, a little bit of radiation leak, but that's okay. Things happen. <clears throat> Operation relations. Uh, sure, you, you my proving grounds. Sure, why not? That sounds good to us. Ah, Prefectus Mars. Yeah, we're doing pretty well with that. The renovation of Flagstaff. Yeah, Flagstaff has prospered under the Legion. <clears throat> but even more can be done. Kaiser has had a petition from the town's merchants. There have been fights between the merchants over access to Flagstaff's pine forests. And by uh, issuing decrees to allow for orderly exploitation, we can preserve both the trees and promote development. The lumber industry can be the basis for metalworking and simple products such as gliders or infantry equipment. But Volvus wishes to send a cohort to strip the Lowell Observ Observatory and the Lowell University. The merchants will pay dearly for the secrets. Defeat the laws of the Silva? Observatory. Observatory will let Kaiser see clearly. Hmm. Oh, I'll go th that one. Let's go through the true capital. Look at the family. The way of the land. <clears throat> For too long, Navajo has been allowed to circumvent our rule on advanced technology without a thought. No more. We shall deal with them and show them no territory of the Legion will ignore our doctrine unpunished. All that's left to see how it goes. Ooh, do we need to take them on? Do we need to beat them up? Give them a one-two buckle my shoe? Uh, so, record everything down there. I just started recording this area here. I did core Dead Horse Point. Uh, we're definitely going to need more political power if we really want to core. Ooh. White Legs and New Canaan. These ladies are doing okay. Cult of Lupa. We'll see if they can actually get it done. We can't send any volunteers, which sucks because they did reject us. How dare they? Capture production is nice, though. That's very good. Legion Denos economy. Uh, what do we want here? Earth Scorcher. It's not bad. Lord of the Pit. That's not bad. We do have some vehicles. War Shaman. <coughs> I kind of like that too, but we'll see. Speed Demon's not bad. We build infrastructure really fast. Anything here we really care about? Honestly, not really. That's Southern Capital. Well, Flagstaff was the uh, first true city that Kaiser conquered. No one can deny that it's far removed from the heart of his empire, resting outside of his traditional trade routes and being trapped deep in rough. Largely unsustainable land. With the recent development and growth in Phoenix, shifting most of the Legion's economic and military might there, Kazar debates should he move the capital? It also serves a firm reminder of the town's populace that the Legion's here to stay, while Aurelius wishes to move this capital to support the region's development and push south. Lucius would argue that Flagstaff is the heart and soul of the Legion. Phoenix is our new home. And we move the capital be to the west. Who has glory right now? No, we're getting, oh. Well, we could, but we don't need to do that. Um, so, Aurelius or Lucius? Either one, really. Civvies, arms, we're going to go civvies. The Hasdilowili? The Navajo jokingly call the trading hub in Navajo City the flea market in their tongue. Without well, support, it could become a bit more than that. Hopi, Hopi tribute. So I'm regular the Hopi's, Hopi's uh, tribute payments. They owe us resources and caps like any other settlement, after all. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, we're going to fight the Republic of the Rio Grande eventually, too. Exemptions for two sons. We can have two sons from some of their tribute demands in exchange for greater loyalty. Hurrah! Phoenix Feathers. 
The death of Phoenix has been crushed, but now Legion must decide how to quell a city's rebellious surges. Both Aurelius and Volpus have presented their options, uh, opinion on the matter, and surely the one they choose to shackle will increase its reputation. Maybe. Temple the Cannonball. Cannonball is a Nas god of protection, encouraging him to drive farther and faster. Um, donating to a temple will show that Legion has a god's favor as well. Nope. Gateway to the South. It said two sons of the richest cities in one of the richest cities in Arizona. Encourages prosperity by promoting trade with the South, helping her sunny friends. Seems like Tucson cities, but many ruins, and surely other worthless objects blocking its citizens from correctly moving through the city. We should really seek to help our sunny friends by scavenging and removing all this junk, and if we find anything valuable, it'd be pavement, really. Garage catches. Numerous spies, or I mean volun numerous concerned citizens, have made us know that the two sons is actually stashing and hiding. Numerous tributes that would be rightfully ours in the garages. We should probably deal with this sooner rather than later, so do not give them any ideas about this kind of thing. The way that the Navajo clash with much of the Legion's teachings. The Navajo skinwalkers clash with the Frumentari. As their alliance on pet boys, stem backs, and stealth equipment are a stark contrast to the Legion's disdain of machines and medicine, but, as well, the Navajo ban slave trading and act as a buffer between the Legion and the tribes to the north. Kaiser some up, coupled up a new plan to soothe the troubled waters of the Navajo by sending an emissary. Praetorian Lucius has offered to go north with gifts of Mexican cotton and new Mexican silver, offering to promise Kaiser will continue to respect the Navajo. Malpais Lego has simply marched uh, a cohort north to new Navajo. Peace be with you. Fear will keep them in line. Can't go to war with them, though. Even though they really want our territory, but... Interesting. Temple of the Senor. Uh, the cult of Nas is two gods. The Senior uh, represents the community that builds a crossroads when the roads bring people together. Is it not Legion promoting his wishes when we bring people together? The Speedway. Tucson's people claim that the road is a great speedway, and every winter equinox our high priest race down the roads. Let us win their favor by rebuilding the roads. The speedway toll. Of course, we didn't rebuild the roads just to win Tucson's favor, so. Not bad. Could, can, could continue to build here, too. More civvies, and throw on a, a milli, because you can. Hey, they scab. Land auction will. Don't need that too much now. I'm to our friends. Now, do, do they go to war with us? Or does. Do we have to go to war with them? Oh, they're friends with the Paz Bandits and the She State. Alright. Department of External Affairs bears armor. So. Lost but not forgotten. Really, two sons. So I have to wait till 2280 for that one. But they have to go with... No, not that one. This one. There's much we can salvage from Tucson. The city was home to American weapons developers before the Great War. But it also contains vast scrap heaps. Continuing the riches of Mexico as they were carried north and the ruins of cars lots from the great, before the Great War. Which would we prioritize? Scrap this treasure. Cars are broken up into chairs for the Legion. Scrap metal turn into new swords and guns. A blunt or two stone will turn into a knife at the throat of our enemies. Nice. And garage catches. Good, good, good. Speeding tall. Toll. Of course, we need to rebuild the roads just to win two sons' favor. Um, what is this? The Hushka Naba. The angry warrior is one of the fiercest fighters among the Navajo, but it, has he truly come to terms with the Legion rule? Or will he bide his time and launch a foolish bid for his people's freedom? The war chief is Ganadins. Chief Hakesh Naba has much to teach the Legion if only we will listen. Skinwalker integration. The Navajo tell powerful sorcerers who can take the shape of animals in, any, uh, in the desert. When you see a Navajo soldier sneak up on you in the dead of night, you'll wonder if the tales are true. Navajo Castra. New Navajo will make a wonderful camp for the Legion. A new outpost for expansion. Ave Kaisar. Ooh, look at this. The skinwalk uh, the Legion's skinwalkers. The skinwalkers will now serve in the Legion. And Vulpus, in particular. Now somebody doesn't know how to use them, and the Navajo recognize it is better to be pissing out of the war camp than into it. Rebirth of the triple AC ACs? Infantry equipment. Ooh, take the workshop's nice. Rebirth of the Principes doctrine. Principes. Is it Principes? Asymmetric warfare. That would be nice. Experience soldiers' losses was way down, though. More non manpower. Forge a flagstaff. 
Plan for Flagstaff. In need of a miracle, though. Kaiser learned that Tucson's priests have been withholding tribute by storing it in their temples, so called garages. Malpais wishes to seize this tribute for the Kaiser, but Volpus is wary that this will cause unrest and anger that the uh, uh, anger the faithful of Tucson. And does not Kaiser always say, control the coins, control the courts, and let the rab uh, rabble have the rest? Our race is on now. Malpais marches with a column to storm Tucson's temples, while Volpus intends to offer the priests a deal where they can represent their tribute as a gift to the Legion. Volpus explains the benefits of a divine revelation. Oh, look at this. And making a weapon of the cords, he draw them all out of the temple. Nice. A darn fine job. The Navajo lands bloom with their aid. And what has been diverted to their farmlands? Let's make them a much more valuable part of the Legion and show that Kaiser's Legion is indeed just a lord. A just lord. Very nice. Uh, what are we missing here? More uh, saws, so that makes sense. Uh, empty tank, that'd be, no that'd be nice to get to. Not bad. Plan for Flagstaff. One armed workshops, the tip of the spear. The unending legion. More population. Ever evolving. Ooh. For this one. Rebirth. I'm not really sure which one I want to do. Legionaries on loan. The decision. Kaiser's gathers most trustworthy words make the final decision. Huh. Because right now, Hinta del Sol. We can just go. Oh, hello. Tucson is uh, a little busy right now, huh? Interesting. Maybe we want to go to war with these guys. Cool. Depot of Senior. A little bit of decision. See what that gives us. Hmm. Get it ultimo to Henta Dosso. Well, they rejected us earlier. Oh, they canceled an uncrushed pact. Ooh. Ah, there goes Lanius. That might be a bit too late, though. Yeah, you got less than three months to do that, Lanius. And it's not looking really good right now. The ultimate decision. The time has come for Kaiser to make a decision. Volpus leans towards Tucson, while Aurelius is ambivalent, and Lucius leans towards Tucson. But it's up to Kaiser to demand. I got no time for this. They'll figure it out. Oh. Fors Luvat Aldintes goes old saying by letting our current and future subject compete against one another, we're not only ensuring that the most worthy receives these lands, but also stand a potentially profit from both sides. The way the bull. No matter the owner, Ultima must become the Legion's forward naval base. If we can challenge NCR's position in the Baja, it'll surely stagger the strategic position up the river. Alright. Nice. Oopsie. Uh, whatever. Very cool. So we do a lot of these other focuses for now, probably off screen. And we're just trying to get to the either the Civil War or where we're going to war with the NCR. So I think I actually might cut off this episode relatively um, early. So, But Kaiser's decreed that the forest of flags were the property of the Legion, with access restricted and quotas imposed. And in turn, merchants may buy these contracts. The Cortes Pagane will resume the responsibility for managing access in that only mature trees are harvested and a fitting fate. Anyone who unlawfully cuts wood will be crucified upon their stolen lumber. Let it be so. And right now, Kaiser has not been seen in public for some time, so I think I'm on to there. If you guys enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully we start at war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.